Hello there and welcome to the new Pandas Tips and Tricks tutorial and this tutorial is from my book 100 Pandas Tips and Tricks where I have documented several tips and tricks and this is just a glimpse of from that book and I hope you will find it useful and the link is present in the description if you want to buy it. Alright, so what do I have over here is the iris.csv file which I have uh, import it as you can see by importing first of all the two different libraries pandas and numpy because numpy i will going to use it in a minute so iris pd dot read underscore csv is what i have executed and if i show you some of the values this is this must be familiar if you have used the iris data set but if not it is basically three different uh, color species of flowers and their respective sepal width, pet, uh, sepal length, and petal width and petal uh, length information about these flowers for the purpose of categorization of the data. Now, once we have this, suppose we want to understand what is the average uh, value for each of these columns for these three different categories. So if you have a similar situation where you want to find the average of all the columns which is present for these respective species then what you can use is the uh, function like this so what do we have is the iris and we will use the apply and we will use np.mean so np is the library which we have imported the numpy library and this is the mean function which is present over there and if we execute it will going to throw an error like this so if you may have tried it already with the apply function it will throw an error so how would you find it well you need to use along with this apply function you need to use the i lock and what we are saying is all the rows and the column 0 2 3 and if i execute what you will going to find is the sepal and sepal width petal length and to add the petal width i'll just add the fourth column and you will find the average of these four different columns so that's basically the idea you know how to use the apply function as well as if it throws an error because it finds the textual value then how you would do that now apart from this also what you can do is iris dot if i just add it here iris dot uh, apply and np dot min that means the minimum value will it throw an error well no so if i execute you will see that now i have this sepal and sepal width and species because what it it is doing is based on this character value it is trying to identify whether it's a minimum value or maximum value but here in this case the average needs an absolute uh, uh, numeric value whether integer or float similarly over here if you want to find the maximum you will find the maximum like this so that's very quickly about how you can do this sort of a function with the help of pandas and this is present uh, similar and the many other example is present in my book so i hope you will enjoy it